amazing. Big, powerful river. So what do you do when you find situations like this? Uh, look at this now. We're going to do a little film on, on what to think about when you find the early cold river. We're in Russia. It's snow and ice all over the place. We've got one degree in the water and we got a tremendously big river. But there are a few tricks that might increase your chances to catch a fish. normally not being fished but it's such a late spring now and even though a salmon river always spills from top to bottom we've been thinking it might be a few fish that will move from the tidal area around this before they enter the river that's what we try here but it's spectacular you have this fantastic river where it meets the sea it's a nice place to be Cold day. Uh, just a few words on taco. Uh, on the extremely cold early fishing, you need the heaviest tackle you can get. I always carry two rods. Uh, today I do a 14.8 and I do a 59 LXI. I do my quadras. The good thing with with two rods is that it's very easy. You're too lazy. You come down where you need to fish a little bit deeper. And you're too easy, too lazy to change. It's easy to have two rods. You just change rod. But I also in my camera bag I, I carry <laughs> I carry everything. I have uh, maybe 15 different kinds of sinking line. And uh, uh, it's important. Deep and slow is the key here. Uh, the fish are big. It's the biggest fish you get in the year. I fish. 40 pound egg or fluorocarbon uh, on a short leader maybe three feet a liter that's all you need uh, of course I, I carry a lot of ice hundreds of everything uh, big 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 to medium size these fish now they want the big fly I also carry small tungsten beads that I can slide down in front of the leader uh, in front of the fly on the leader yes if I need to fish deep on the uh, very short line otherwise the line takes down the light fly that's that's what I think the lively fly will catch more fish for you but um, tackle is everything here if you don't have the right tackle you're never ever gonna catch a good fish so uh This was just a little bit deeper than 
before and we got this beauty I'll show you again 25 pound female super nice important fish for the river and uh, of course we'll release it see it wants to go and we let it go what do you think about flies this time of the year? Mm -hmm. You have to use big heavy flies this time. And colors? Does it matter? Different colors. The most yellow, bright, quite bright flies. Yellow, green, different colors. Super fresh fish! Look at this! Super fat fish. Very nice. Look at the back. Super fat fish. Two rock hard on the deep fly too. On the cold river, the difference between a bit too fast and a bit too high up means everything. The deep, slow fly might produce several takes, and a fly a bit higher up, a bit too fast, nothing. Frustrating if you can't control speed and depth, of course. Fishing deeper is not only to change lines, technique is maybe even more important. Dozens of things affect the speed and depth of your fly. I could talk forever about cold water tactics. There are so many small tricks. But let's concentrate on three things. The rod controls everything. If you see your line on the inside of your rod after you cast it, when you fish your fly, you slow it down. And opposite, if you see it on the outside of your rod tip, you'll speed it up. Simple, but very good to know. I hold out my rod hand, and that way slow down my fly a lot. The second little good trick is that normally you walk down the pool while stripping in line. If you want your fly to have a little more time to sink, it's better you walk after you cast it. Cast out your fly, hold your rod hand out and walk it down. This will mean a big difference in the depth your fly will fish. The third little handy trick is to cast your line straight, almost on 90 degrees across the current. Don't cast out all your line though, save a few meters, and when you do your upstream man, you feed this line. This means your fly gets more time to sink. The more line you feed, the deeper your fly will fish.
Lemon's fish, male. Little slim, but 25 pounds, 104 centimeters. It took a share ago about uh, four or five. And the temperature's up a little bit now today, so I think that makes the fish come in too. We're right on high tide, so. Yari had one, and uh, I had one and lost one, and uh, now we're really looking into some good, good days here. Look, beautiful male. And it's hooked right in the corner. On a very big Charagorba on a turbo disc. And it's super nice. Gonna release it, of course. And it's normally very easy to release them on the cold water. They have no problems whatsoever if you handle them a little bit. Make sure you're careful. A few photos, a few seconds in the air. Beauty, look! 20 pounds and like a football. Fishing a little faster, still deep, but with an angle on the fly so you get a good grip. Uh, aggressive fish when they come in. You don't need to fish right on the bottom. Make it easy for yourself. Don't get hung up in, in all sorts of rocks and stones. And, much more fun to fish a little bit higher above the bottom. I think we'll let this beauty go. Go and spawn. Very nice. Control and keep the deep slow fly on the big cold river is probably the hardest and the most challenging there is in salmon fishing. It can be very tricky and you need both experience and full control of your good tackle. Changes not only in tackle but more in technique will change the depth and speed. If you learn to control it, you can adjust to the place you're fishing and also to the changing conditions. When the water reaches about 7 to 8 degrees, it's time to let your fly swim fast. So here I found uh, another power team guideline <laughs> guy. <laughs> Hi Dave. Uh, I'm doing just a little film on, on on this cold water tactics, and you you got a lot of routine. So give us your three best tips. Well, I think just best thing to do in cold water is obviously get the fly down to where the fish are. 
um, actually slow the fly down um, and just hang on I think that's probably the best thing to do um, but no when it's cold obviously the fish are moving slowly um, and um, just keep keep at it and pick your softer spots and that's where the fish are going to be so great get out there and do it we just now solved the whole key to, to, to this okay <laughs> okay thanks a lot okay cheers <laughs>